Bowles is out and the Jets are looking for a new head coach. And they got a long history of questionable decisions for us to talk about. So please like, subscribe, and share, and let's get the debate going on Brooklyn Verse. Go, 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 go. Welcome to another edition of Brooklyn Verse, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Phil Kags. New year, new panel. I got Rich Hahn right here. How's hey, it going, man? Thanks for having me. And I got, you know him, DB, Donnie Bost. We got the return. Here we go, guys. Happy New Year to everyone. We're going to jump right into it. We got the Jets. Made a little coaching move, all right? So that's the news. That's the biggest news in New York team. Todd Bowles, he's out. Rich, do you like the move? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, come on, he he had to go. Like, um, the attitude is not right. You know, you're just acting like the coolest guy on the sideline, and like, dude, you're not winning games. You can't just stand yeah, there like, terrible. oh, I'm so cool. Like, oh, okay. it's fine. He's too cool for Rich. <laughs> no, yeah. no, but we talked about that. That attitude with like, the press and everything, only works if you're winning. Right. It gets real old real quick when you're not winning. Like, who does it? Saban does it. Mm -hmm. Belichick does it. Well, they they dominate their team, yeah. you know. They and, and then elsewhere, those guys, you know, don't. How do you feel about uh, uh, Todd Bowles? Uh, it really comes down to game plan for me personally. I could take or leave Bowles. I, I wouldn't have minded if he was there personality wise. Don't really care. Game plan. You saw it yesterday with the Ravens, right? It's you cannot have a game plan where you're run heavy. You run for two, run for two, give your quarterback one chance to pass. That that was the Jets' game plan. Yeah. You can't. And that does not work consistently unless you have the greatest running game that I've ever seen. <laughs> and then people plan for it, and then that doesn't even matter. It's uh, yeah, you cannot win like that. I completely agree with you. Yeah. I think I agree with you. The personality is one thing, yeah. but I agree with Donnie. That's not the NFL anymore. No. The NFL rules have really. They've, they've changed. They've evolved. And they they reward people to take chances and coaches to take chances and then really open it up. Look at Peterson, the new coach in, uh, in Philly. You know, goes for on fourth down a lot. You got Nagy on the Bears, even though they, you know, they, they turned it around. Right. These offensive guys who take chances, who go for on fourth down, don't punt all the time, don't kick any field goals. And a lot of people told me, like Jet fans told me, that Bowles made no halftime adjustments. <laughs> like he was no, the worst. No, clearly. Yeah. He was the worst. Like the other team would make halftime yeah. adjustments, and then he would just be behind. No, you're we, right. There was a game against the, that, that game against the Browns this year. Remember, like the coming oh. out party for Baker Mayfield. When um, they had that first big win, it really was actually. It's Mayfield's and first game. Yeah. They were joking about Bowles openly on the broadcast. Like, Wow, the Jets really are committed to the run. Down by like two touchdowns in the second half. Like, pretty yeah. late. Like, it's talk disgusting. About, talk about yeah. game plan. De uh, Taylor started that game. They had no, once Mayfield came in, they looked like they weren't even prepared for, they didn't know who this guy was. Yeah. Well, that's but, defensively yeah. also, though. Yeah. But the offensive game plan is garbage. And the Jets' wide receivers, sadly, we're calling it like it is. They were actually, they were, they didn't mention Bates' name, but they were blaming him for the season. And Bulls allowed that that to happen. Okay. Yeah. So, Rich, they're looking for a new coach. Do you have a wish list? Um, I, I don't have a wish list, but like, yeah, honestly, <laughs> I just wanted to make a point about Donnie's previous point there. But um, he doesn't coach, you know, it's an old style of coaching. You're totally right. And you have these players. We don't have top tier talent, no, so you got to no, coach no. for that. Yeah. You can't run what 80, 90 percent of the game. Yeah. Expect to win with if we have, if we have Elijah McGuire. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. I actually do like Elijah McGuire, <laughs> but, but he, you saw the change the game. Is there a problem? Yeah. Well, come on, yeah. like ah, uh, no fair. Like, no, they didn't they the have, end of the year. He had one two hundred yard game. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred yard game. He right? had a, yeah, he had that one good yeah. game. That was yeah. great. No, he's right. His season statistics are terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, McGuire should be the starter going McGuire into next year. Good, but yeah. you do need a good, you need a good Powell, passing don't game. Powell too. That's oh, why. Oh, yeah, that. No, Powell's career might be over. I know. Well, I'm gonna ask Diane then. Do you have a little bit of a wish list for who the Jets are gonna look for? Um, yeah, do, do, yeah, I, I, not a person, but I just uh, just somebody who um, a quarterbacks coach. That's it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like a Frank Reich, yeah. because you see what he's doing with Luck, the comeback player of the year. Yeah. I got that. 
Donald, Donald really after he came back from that he little phenomenal. injury, he yeah. looked great. He didn't look good. He looked great. Yeah, he I'm looked sorry. great. No, that's right. <laughs> phenomenal. He looked something you really want to hang your hat on. Very promising. You got to get someone in here that can develop him. Look at the difference between. We we'll go back to I know, and I think McVeigh is a. Uh, could be a diamond in the rough, let's just say. You know, he could be a singular. Yeah, that count. could be a one year type thing. But what yeah, I mean is that, still not impressive right now. But so. what I mean is that look at the difference between Goff with Jeff Fisher yeah. and Goff An with awful Sean coach. McAvey. Yeah, Sean McAvey. A good coach. Exactly. Even if we don't say great. Exactly. Yeah. So, so you're Fisher's terrible. Old school, new school mentality. Exactly. Get yeah. a new school guy who could take Donald and yeah. take him to that next step. But they also and do then the, you're And then you're looking at, you're looking at a promising yeah. future. Yeah, they they guys. Is, they're also guys that that mix in a lot more gadget plays. Yes, yeah, that exactly. That like screens to to really fast running backs Be that are not your main running back. Like they'll have a they'll have two different types of running backs. They're guys that actually employ that type of strategy, exactly. and that's what that's what works. Even if those plays are not always successful, it doesn't matter because you're gonna get a couple of 30, 40 yard plays. That's gonna be the difference in the game. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I say. Don't go after McCarthy, Mike McCarthy. I know he has the pedigree. No, I'm know fine with that. There. Yeah, I could, I, I could abstain I from that. I just don't think I, I, you, I've, I think he ran stale with the Packers, and he ran stale yeah. with Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and he just ran stale. I wouldn't go that far him. anymore. I think he, I think he did. I didn't, I didn't think he was inventive with gadget plays. I don't. I just, I think he relied a lot on Rodgers, and I think this is one of the most important decisions. This could be the most important Jets coaching decision for a long time. Well, I was going to say, because the Donald decision was one of exactly. the biggest decisions for, for a long time. For coaching, time. especially because yeah. you have Donald, yeah. a quarterback who could be the future for well, you it, it would be the first. it would be the first guy that they go to in a long time mm -hmm. that's not a defensive coach. Yeah. That's what they have to do. Yeah. Or they could double down. They could go for a defensive coach again. But then they need a, a ridiculously well, they, good uh, offensive coordinator. I was about to say, then yeah. you better bring in someone that's yeah. top-line offensive coordinator. Get Le'Veon Bell on the team. Exactly. <laughs> I think the Jets are an attractive position for a coach for that reason. I know you mentioned uh, Le'Veon Bell. Mm -hmm. They have a ton of cap room. Yes, they do. They have a young quarterback. It's, you know, it's New York City. I think this is an attractive position for, I think, you can build a team. I know that, you know, there's still holes on the team, mm. but they have yeah, the way. They have a the line. The number three yeah. overall pick. They have a top quarterback. They have cap room to really build this team. I think they get. We're going to move on to, you know, the history of the Jets coaches now because Donnie did bring in something that was good. The Jets haven't had an offensive coach in a long time. You go back, you got Bowles. You got Rex Ryan. Yeah. You got, I believe you're a fan of him. You got Herm Edwards. Oh, yeah. You know, we go back. It's and got I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna play um, stupid for a moment. I don't know Mangini wasn't an offensive Mangini, guy. Well, he was a you. defensive no, guy, he was right? Defensive yeah, guy, I thought yeah. so. Yeah. You got then you got. I'm I sorry, wasn't 100 percent sure. Mangini was before Edwards. Mangini. Correct. Yes. Edwards. Al Gro. Al Gro. Yeah. Bill Belichick. Let's not forget we the just, greatest coach. We just, Rich Kotite. We just he was in there somewhere. He's your last offensive guy. Yeah. That's your last. They went one in fifteen. One of the years he was a coach. That is your last offensive hire coach. You had Bill Belichick, the anniversary just passed, January 4th, yeah. is when he resigned. You had Parcells before that, and Rich Kotai. So we got to go back to 1995, the last time the Jets got an offensive coach. So we went through their coaches, and it's re Parcells was the last good one. You know, you had Pete but, Carroll, and, and by the way, for year, Parcells right? was the last good one, and Parcells was half-hearted by the time he was there. That was he was kind of done. He was on his way out. And, but he yeah. he put the, he got to the AFC Championship game. No, no, Steve I'm not Obama saying that. I, I I agree. I'm saying yeah. yeah but all right, Rex Ryan put us in that position also. Would you say <laughs> twice, he was a great coach? Twice, twice, <laughs> back to back. He was good coach. He was a great <laughs> defensive coordinator. Great defensive. coordinator. He was not a good coach. He he was, offensively, they were terrible. He would he they, would they be a good okay. person to resurface somewhere yeah. as a defensive coordinator. Yeah, he had a run a couple of. Runs, but they were offensively very sub. Yeah, they were very much subpar. Yeah. No, I mm -hmm. love watching Rex Ryan defense. Like he got so yeah. creative yeah. with the blitz package. But once again, the offense was whatever. We he, ran the same game plan: run exactly. the ball. Yeah, right. yeah. Ground yeah the guy had a top guy. defense with the Ravens, top defense with the Jets. Statistically, he had seasons yeah. like that. So I can never take that away from him. But offensively, the Jets have been anemic for so long. Bad. Okay. So the last time I said was Rich Kotai, so that's offense mm -hmm. corner. You were a big fan of him. I mean, of Herm Edwards. This is, this, I like the fire that he puts on the team. You know, he's a, he's the right attitude for New York. And I think 
Um, you want him back? You said. You know what? I'll take him back for a couple of years. Uh, he's like let's, Arizona. Let's, let's, let's slow he's down like, there. You can get him. I he's, he's a like, very yeah, he's important. Available. Available. He's available. I think he's like Arizona, Arizona State's State. head coach. Arizona State head coach. Yeah. Yeah. He's so available. Yeah. You know? He's not I'm available. available. <laughs> he's a job. We just said he's you available. You get him for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Uh-huh. All right, come on, Herm, please. No, but yeah. this thing is. Um, <sighs> you like the attitude. Yeah, it's New York sports. You got to bring the personality with it, and. I feel like, you know, a lot of coaches probably have similar game plans. We yeah. just went through a list of defensive game plans. It's, you yeah. know, a list of defensive coach after defensive coach after defensive they coach. Have, I mean, you know what? You look at what, the way they play. They have to, it's the same football. I feel like since Rex Ryan, for as long as I can remember, it's the same style of player yeah. when you watch the Jets. Yeah, it's a, def- it's a, it's a defensive team. That's what, that's what the Jets sell themselves as. I imagine that's still what they will. Unless something majorly changes, well, no, because they draft they draft defensive players. Talented. They work defensive players. They have a de- uh, talented defense. That's right. I know, right. but the Jets, the Jet football's evolved. Yeah. When are the, we're talking about all these defensive coaches that the Jets have hired? When are the Jets going to evolve and change with football? That's it. Football's moving in a different direction. Defense. It's okay. Yeah, you need your defense. Don't get me wrong, but you don't need a dominating defense to win anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, they, I think I said this before, but one time they asked Andy Reid, are you worried about your run defense this year? Mm-hmm. And he said nobody loses in the NFL because of their run defense anymore. Yeah. Can you argue with that? He's right. Well, well, and for his career, he's, he's right. always been a monstrous offensive know, guy. Well, he's really loves. Yeah. He's right. Look at look at what you were just talking about with yeah. uh, the Ravens. Yeah. You know, because they were they're trying to ner- bring Lamar Jackson along. Yeah. But there's only so far you can get running the ball that much now in this NFL. In, no, unless your passing is dangerous. Like that's yes, a, you have, to you have, have like then your run game, game could be fantastic. Of course, I'm not saying not yeah. to run the ball. I'm not saying forget about running the ball. Yeah. But you need the pass defense because say you're facing the Chiefs and you go down and you take 10 minutes and you score a touchdown right. and then Patrick Mahomes scores a touchdown in two minutes. You know where are you know like, okay and then you just got and then you got to grind it out all the way back again. It's just not the NFL anymore. The NFL is open. I mean, look at the Giants. They have the best running back in the league. Well, the Giants well, the on the Giants on the Jets. The Giants, on, <laughs> the, Giants I, I, I on the Giants on paper had one of the better offenses in the league, and they were I know, terrible. I know. Yeah. I love I love watching Barkley play, but I agree with no, you. But I the don't whole think that's offense. The, that's not the NFL anymore. The whole offense looked good. Yeah. That's what you should be disappointed about. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on paper, that is. Uh, I'm very disappointed. And the last three <laughs> weeks of the season, I'm right? Very, I'm very <laughs> disappointed with the Giants' season, but that's what it is. So I'm, I'm looking for the Jets to get, on, take a chance on an offensive guy, because their history, they need to, I agree. They need I, to I, reverse I yeah. this, Jet coach history. You know, these yeah. guys are, they, they haven't. They, no one's been in a coach that's thro- blown you away in a while for the Jets, or been able to hold a sustained period of success. You know, you had yeah, you yeah. had the two cham- you had the two championship appearances with Rex Ryan, and right. then nothing after. Yeah. So now we want to move on from Jets head coaches to just Jets moves in general. So we a lot of times the Mets and the Jets kind of get linked together, and yeah. we we had a show before where we talked about Mets moves. Sure. Mets were moves. So we're gonna move to Jets moves. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave you about well, let's 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 start talking about some baffling Jets moves in general. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it, Donnie. What's a jet move that you? A typical jet okay. move. Thank you. Well, I'll go. give you two, and Perfect. then you give you know whatever you feel like. Yeah. I'll give you two. A typical jet move is when they brought in Tebow and didn't <laughs> use him. Uh, it had no effect on the team, but uh, on the team's play. Yeah. But it destroyed them optically. All right, that's a jet's move. And then financially, <laughs> a stupid move was signing Muhammad Wilkerson to a lot of money oh, when man. he was. Half-hearted at best on a good day. <laughs> at best, <laughs> at best, you're right. At best. Talking shit about people in the locker room, that his teammates. I have to say, <laughs> one of my favorite. Oh, I, I had the ultimate jet. Yeah. One of my favorite plays in the Tim Tebow era was it was a, a, a very play that didn't matter at all. But they were facing the I forgot what team they were facing, but it was one of the gadget plays where Tebow ran out as a wide receiver and Sanchez okay. was quarterback. Mm. And it just in my mind, I just Brad felt like, Smith. Yeah, I just felt like Sanchez did this on purpose because he was just so upset. Tebow ran it down and out. And Sanchez threw it to him. He probably didn't think he was going to get thrown to him. Just hit him right in the back of the head. Like, Steve, you know the quarterback goes out and they just run around? Yeah, sure, I think sure. Sanchez probably like, no, I can't believe this guy's on the field. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I, no, because they actually did have Brad Smith, who was successful at those types of things. Yeah, he was, was a guy that was a legitimate pro bowl yeah, exactly. like gadget yeah, player. Exactly. Yeah. I'll give you a Jets. 
Now, this really isn't a Jet move, but you told, you just brought up the typical Jets was mm. Geno Smith getting knocked out in the locker room. Oh. Can we? <laughs> yeah, again, those are, that's like that the more Tebow typical, style thing. Like, yeah. That is typical yeah, In the Jets. press, they're a joke. You're yeah. talking about Geno Smith. Yeah. You're trying to talk him up. Boom, boom, boom. And then he gets knocked out. A head of bow or whatever the guy's <laughs> name. The guy that he said it like owed him money <laughs> for like a charity or something. Like it was a really and weird they event. him and the Patriots picked him up. Yeah. yeah. No, but that's <laughs> also. There are. There we go. And really? The hey, that's a big get. <laughs> no, but like that's the thing. Don't, is, don't get on his bad side, Paul. Yeah. As a coach, you take a control of your locker room. Yeah. And then once again. That was with Rex Ryan. Right. But uh, you know, he's a high. You know, he's, he's a hot head. He's gonna and, up and it kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of went, th- yeah. went, you know, that trickled down from the top of yeah. Rex Ryan's. Uh, well, hot head. well, let's be honest. Rex Ryan's downturn was also his like. His obsession. Everything. No, no, no. Um, that not because that's good for a head coach actually, especially since he had some success. Mm-hmm. His downturn was his um, love affair with uh, Sanchez. Okay, he good, wanted to stay with him till the end. There's a jet move right there. We yeah, very much move. so. They he really could have moved on. Again, he was a yeah. defensive guy. He's like, we can move on from this, and I can rebuild with what I have. Yeah. Still have a good defense. He we loved Sanchez, and everybody else was over him. Yeah, they everybody. Tra- they trade up him. How about Brett Favre too? You guys get Brett Favre for the one year where he wasn't. No, that was that actually good. Good. that was actually a pretty good move. But that's I thought. Com- but what, it was they didn't make pretty good. But com- what I mean is, compared to the year, the year he was on the Packers, they made yeah. the championship game. Then he went to the Jets, wasn't that good. The then Vikings, went to the Vikings and was, NFC Championship. And was yeah. So they had him the one year where he wasn't that good. Right. No, but he started the year incredibly he did. good. They were like no, but it's yeah. a thought of think about the future too. It's like you haven't. Old, you know, guy at the end of his career, like you're gonna bring him for one year. Yeah. I'd rather suck and get a high draft pick built yeah. for the future. Uh, oh, get he's this got out the of here. Jersey. That's actually a fire jersey. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That's nice. Very I authentic. like that very much. Yeah. But like the one year he was on the team, let's bring him out, boys. It's just wrong. That's a Look whole famous still. Oh, yeah. That's, That's a whole, the whole famous. Thing. I love watching. I still watching. the jersey. I love still watching. Chill. I love watching. The green, it's a wrong green. It's the wrong green. He was. You always gotta remember the pack of green, but. Fav was a great. Yeah, I'm gonna let you hold it. Yeah. Fav <laughs> was a great player, but it just happened. Jets had him in the year where he. Won. Yeah, they 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 collapsed. Yeah. They, it was a collapse, by the way, because they did start well. They from what I recall, well. yeah. yeah. He was actually very good with them early. <laughs> Uh, but what was the mindset behind it? Like, did you expect him to play for two years with the Jets? And yeah, probably be like a bridge a, the gap kind yeah, of guy and win. Yeah. Yeah, and then they then they traded for Mark Sanchez. Yeah, so they they got rid of Chad Pennington. It was the year they got oh, rid God. of Chad Pennington. By the way, Chad Pennington, a playoff quarterback. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Chad Pennington. I love Chad oh, Pennington. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. We, we I gotta, am not a huge I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. We gotta. I'm gonna steer <laughs> off worst Jet moves for one for one second because Rich just said to me something that I've never heard a Jet fan say in no. my entire life. You're not a fan of Chad no. Pennington? No, no. He's the best quarterback you guys have You're had. You're being sarcastic, since... right? Uh, honestly, because a lot of people, I, no, no, I do hear that from no, a lot of people. I'm, I'm, yeah. so, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not being sarcastic. Maybe I, I exa- actually did like him. Maybe, I heard a lot of op- 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 opposition. Little, maybe I exaggerate a little bit. When I talk to Jet fans, yeah. he, honestly, Chad Pennington is the best well, quarterback you guys have he had. He did win. I think he's yeah. the best, best quarterback yeah. you guys have had since I started it, watching football. So most people look high. Tessa Verde was probably the best. But for a longer period of time. Oh, fair enough, yeah. Uh, Most Jet fans I know think very I speak highly of Chad Pennington. Yeah, because well, again, he won. He's a playoff he quarterback. Was a playoff quarterback. Yeah. He was good for the Jets. I'm I think he was, like I think he's the best quarterback we had. Was a time manager and a game manager, and knows how to win games. Yeah. However, he was very Alex Smith. Not That's what he was. He was not yeah. very talented quarterback. Great completion percentage, first of all. What? Yeah, yeah, I thought he was talented. Yards. <laughs> it doesn't it was like I thought he was actually pretty talented. I gotta so be not. honest. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna ask you, Rick. Well, but, but the, Randy Moss. And when they asked Randy Moss who's the best quarterback ever threw to him, you know who they said? Chad Pennington? Chad and Marshall. Chad Marshall. Marshall. Yeah. Oh, Brandon Marshall. He played in college. No, no, no. Oh, wait. no they Mar- played Mar- in college Marshall. together, yeah. Oh. Chad Pennington was the quarterback. Randy Moss was the wide receiver on, on the Mar- college you have to, Marshall. Wait, wait, he played with fucking Brady. What are you talking about? And he said Pennington. <laughs> and he said I had to Pennington. think about that for a moment. And I'm, exactly. like, I'm like, maybe he uh, Cole Pepper exactly. was still pretty no. good. He said he was <laughs> He said Pennington, okay? <laughs> he loved playing with Pennington. I really had to think about that for a second. I'm like, what are you talking about? He, and he, Chad Pennington's his boy. But no, know, no, I know that. He, by the way, Chad Pennington, very friendly with a lot of players. He's also a boy with Curtis Martin. Like, okay, I know. Guys, I'll, I'll, like, ask you, I'll ask you one more Chad Pennington trivia now. I gave away the answer. Since Brady took over for the Patriots, they have not, uh, they've won the division for every year except two years. The only, the only teams to win the division that year were led by Chad Pennington, once with the Jets and, and once with the Dolphins. Dolphins. I remember okay? the Dolphins. So once. Chad Pennington is the only other person to win wow. the AFC East. Mm. 
Except for Tom Brady in the last, what, 18, you know, 17 stats years. Stats support it. You're right. Stats support it. But at the end of the and day. And one of those was Matt Castle. No? But they didn't win the division that year. No, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Brady got hurt, yeah. and then Chad Pankton won the division. One was a Mac Hassley that he didn't. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Pankton, you know, he didn't put up the yards, Pennington, but right. I just, his well, police position was, was always great. Again, solid quarterback. That's yeah. what I always thought. Yeah, I, solid, I, 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 no, don't just, get me wrong. Yeah. Solid, I think, okay. as a team I think, I think I told you up to solid. I'm yeah. sorry. No, no. I think I told and then, you up to solid. And before <laughs> that, you'd have to go Testaverde and maybe a Sison, and he wasn't yeah. even his best when he was there. He was Ray good. Ray Lucas? No love for Ray Lucas? Uh, not really. Great, no. great look, all right. uh, favorite jet of all time. Favorite jet of all time. That's what we're gonna finish up before we get to the jet, uh, hmm. our Jets challenge. I want favorite favorite, favorite jet of all time. Kersmart. Kersmart. Yeah, same thing. Okay. And then my second would be um, Paul said yeah. too. And then I have and I have a close second and third, and that's um Crebet and Keys. Kerber, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's Wayne who Corbett. I thought was going to be number one. Yeah. I, I wanted to see someone yeah. say Wayne Corbett. Yeah, he's that a was. heart and soul. That's yeah. it. He was. Honestly, he was. I also love Keys, who wasn't. <laughs> he was actually, he was hated because he wanted to <laughs> leave. <laughs> <laughs> Corbett always went at it, right? Yeah. Well, he hated it. Like, he didn't get along with anybody there. Okay. But he was still a phenomenal talent. All right. Yeah. Well, I think Paul loved Wayne Corbett, too. But yeah. How could you not like Wayne Corbett? It was just a tough, yeah. fans love him because yeah. he wasn't No, the no, yeah, he, was, yeah, he should have been. the most talented yeah. guy. And Curtis Martin, though. He's one of the greatest running backs of all time. We had him, yes. and he gave us the best production. He was our greatest running back of all time. 100%. Yeah, so. All right. Well, we dove, we dove into Jets history a little bit with some of the good, some of the bad. We've got a little nostalgic here. Mm. And now we're going to I'm gonna pull out a nice little piece of paper here. We got, I held this, I kept this hidden because we couldn't, this, this is hot off the press of these. I know, right? yeah. This is, I knew it was going to happen, yeah. so I folded it up nicely. We're going to go, we're going to change it up today. We're gonna have a different challenge. Usually we throw out a little video game for you guys, but now we got the giant fan here we're talking to two Jet fans, we're talking Jets football. Mm. Let's get a little Jets trivia. So we have the buzzers in front of you. Very, uh, I'm gonna. Hey, it reminds you of Super Mario Brothers. Does anybody else remind you of Super Mario Brothers? That's like, exactly it's what it's from. It's <laughs> that's exactly okay, yeah, that it's from. <laughs> that's uh, exactly. This, even I'm, I'm spot on. Again, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. I wasn't. <laughs> then I'm spot on yeah. with my comparison because it's supposed oh, to be. Oh, there we go. You got to turn right. off the light. Perfect. So, I'm breaking out the questions. <laughs> like fucking the Jeopardy. first question, you do not need a buzzer. Huh. Okay. We're gonna start with coaches. So this is gonna be a Price is Right kind of question. Closest to, if you get it exactly, obviously. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the, you the stipulation. Go you cannot go over. No, no, this is straight. Oh, no, come on. Donnie's got an advantage because I came to this country in 1998. You so go. anything before 1998. What happened? Move to your left. Okay, I'm, I got so, I got so excited. I got, I, I rolled back. You know, once I saw the Mario <laughs> Brothers. Once he, once Rich dropped the knowledge that it actually was Mario Brothers, it kind of blew me back. So you could go over, but closest to him. So. How many coaches have the Jets had in their history? That's true. So don't worry about you coming to the country in 1998, okay? We're yeah, because I don't remember exactly. this either. So no, this is, but this is why it's a close. Buzzers and heads, please. No, no, this, no, no, this, no, this, this is, is a just, number question. This is a number question. Don't worry. Yeah, I recall a certain amount, so you'd have the same knowledge about that that I would. I'm going to go 16. 16. Donnie? Yeah, I was going to just split the difference between 10 and 20, say 15. 15. Rich takes it. It's 18 head coaches. So wow. Rich is up one nothing. Now buzz is in hand, right, boys. Buzz is in hand. Buzz is in hand. All right. So this is fast money, boys. All right. So back to coaches again. The Jets. How many Jets coaches have a career-winning record above 500 with the team? One. <laughs> Three. You both don't get it. It's two. Uh, I almost said two, but okay. then Rex. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Can you name the two? Only two coaches. Yeah. Only two coaches have a uh, winning record with Maynard the team. and uh. No, no. One's it's maybe the greatest coach of all time. Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells won with them. They were twenty nine nineteen with Parcells. And um. Al Goro. Oh, Al bro, yeah. one, one season. season. He was nine and seven. Right. Yeah. See, I remember the coach when they had a good year, but then they were terrible around that. I guess like the exactly. early years. <laughs> well, there's only two coaches that have a winning record yeah. on your team, and one of them was just one season. Yeah. And that's all you ever coached. Okay, we're gonna go back to the coaches. <laughs> Who had the most wins as a Jets coach? Donnie. I'm gonna buzz you if you don't give me. Rex Ryan. No. Bill Parcell. Oh, okay, guys. 
Does anyone know the Jets head coach when they won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl three? Weeb Eubank. What? Weeb that Eubank. That's is right. the Jets coach. He's in the, uh, the most wins of all times. He was 71 and 77 and 6. Yeah. <laughs> so That's he why a, I was saying. He had a losing Whoa. record. <laughs> but so had. So Rich still has a commanding lead of 1-0. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just... All right, here we go. Who has the most career passing yards for the Jets? Donnie. Testaverde. <laughs> Ooh, passing yards. Most career. Most career passing yards. Guys, this is a layup. Oh, yeah. This is a layup. And now I lose it, too. <laughs> now I realize Wait. right away. This is a layup. Yeah, it really is. What do you think Jets quarterback? Who do you think of? Oh, Joe Namath. Joe Namath. There Sorry, we go. Yeah. I, 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 I keep thinking I'm going to get tricked. Come on, guys. I keep thinking I'm going to get tricked. So I, I will never that, give it a... Paul, please, if you want to jump in, because that was <laughs> terrible. If you want to jump no, in, no, no, you're a Jets I, I keep thinking I'm going to get tricked, so I'm nah. never going to go for an obvious okay. answer. All right. That's how I did trivia. Next question. Huh? <laughs> Who has the most passing yards in one season for the Jets? Okay, no one buzzed in until Rick. Vinny Testaverde. Name it. Joe Namath. <laughs> Dude, that I know is a trick because that's from yeah. 1967. No, that's a, well, he did no have. No one has thrown for more yards for the Jets. No, he has. Yes, but he was one of those guys that had a couple of phenomenal years. He did. Which okay. made him. I have the numbers. Yeah. In 19, he had two good years. In 1967, <laughs> Right, Joe, but they were huge for their time, in though. In 1967, Joe Namath threw for 4,007 yards. Yeah. Since 1967, no, no one has thrown for 4,000 yards for the They're New York Jets. They're running team. They're running <laughs> defense we team. We talked about this. Drew Brees throws for 4,000 yards yards in half a season now. Yeah. <laughs> he talks about 5,000 yeah. like it's going out of style. And the Jets... <laughs> All right, we're tied up. Let's go. Tied up. <laughs> no, he's 2-1 now because he got the Joe name. Oh, God I damn pushed it. Him along. All right, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, back to quarterbacks. Who has the most passing touchdowns in one season for the Jets? That's going to be Testaverde. Eh. Mark Sanchez. No. Oh. oh. Paul, do you want to... I think I gave Paul the answer. I'm sorry. Oh! Fuck. Ryan Lucas. Ryan Lucas. Ray Lucas. Ryan Fitzpatrick to add it to our Dude, I knew that too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Ryan Fitzpatrick. I don't even think about these things. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he said that. He had that great year, and we missed the playoffs. Oh. I, got a, I got another layup here. Who has the most career rushing yards for the Jets? That's Curtis Martin. There we go. And now yeah. we're tied up. 2-2. Right. Two, two. There we go. Okay. The Jets have had the number one overall pick twice in their history. Who are they? Who were the picks? Mm. Whoever blitzed that speaks, no one puts it in. I have to think about I'll it. I'll give you the years if you're not going to get Yeah, do that. Okay, I'll All give right. you the years. We had one in 1965 and one in 1996. Because, no, I have na, one of them. Na, 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 na. Uh, I'm going we got Rich. Is Keyshawn in? Johnson one of them? Is one of them, but you got to get both. Um, there's no partial credit here yeah. in Bridge's uh, Brooklyn Verse. Uh, and 19... Joe Namath. Joe Namath! Yeah, I, Rich, I, yeah. Rich pulls it out of his I knew Namath was one of them, of course. course. You mentioned Keyshawn, but he got yeah, the Keyshawn. Keyshawn. I, I like, know. I didn't think he was that high up. I, thought he was, I knew he was a number one pick for them. Do you remember who was supposed to be that number one pick, but then he decided to go back to school? 96. No, who was? Peyton Manning. <laughs> okay. He could have yeah. came out that year, and everybody was, Parcells just became the coach, and Manning was like, I'm going back to school. I don't mm. want this team. Mm. <laughs> All right. This is going to get Closest question. So Rich's up 3 2 now. How many times have the Jets made the playoffs in their history? This is a Price is Right kind of song. I'm going to make Donnie go first this time because Rich went first last time in the question. I'm going to go Super Bowl era. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm going to go eight. Eight. Ooh, shit, that's my number. Uh, that's his number. Yeah, well. Um, I go 11. 11. Rich takes it. It's 14. You don't have uh, any any faith in your New York Jets. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Zero. Hey, did you? <laughs> All right. So, Rich is up 4-2. I'm going to make this question worth three points. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? Is this I'll take, guy, is this the last I'll take my L. I was not no, prepared. No, no, no. This question does have four answers. Oh, okay. So, how about that? This question has four answers. I wasn't prepared. So I'll take my L. Four no, points. No, no, no. This question is possible four points here. All right. In the 2000 NFL draft. Are we buzzing, though? Oh, sure. Yeah. Buzz. In the 2000 NFL draft, the Jets had a record four first-round picks. Mm -hmm. Can you name them? Da -da -da. Uh, yeah, I'd love just to jump this. in whenever you want. Chad Pennington. Chad Pennington is one. Rich now has five points. You gotta um, get these next three. Yeah, Donnie, come on. 
I got another one. Again. I got, I got. Uh, oh, Sean Ellis. Sean, forget it. You lost. Yeah, but yeah Sean uh, Ellis. Come on, go on a run here. Uh, we got two more. Uh, I was. The Burn is Coles. No, that's. Uh, <sighs> I look none of going. this up. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna get what Santana John Abram. Morse was one? John Abram, you got one more. That's very good. John Abram was a good play for this. Yeah, game. no, that so was Ellis. This is a good that, that was, was a great drift. Brady got drafted that year. Brady yeah, got well, yeah, a lot of people passed on him. But this is a year that really set up the Wait, Jets. So, uh, so this this is a year that set up the Jets for uh, the next yeah. you know, eight successful years or whatever they had. They had Pennington, Ellis, Abraham. The, the last one wasn't a good pick. Those guys were all good. Yeah. Um, oh, so all right. Then, yeah. Oh, no. It's a tight end. Oh. Beck? Anthony Beck, yeah. the first round pick. Yeah. yeah, I didn't study for this whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, and Rich yeah. comes on good, bridge side for the good, first time. Good game. <laughs> and he's a great sportsmanship here. Come on, Rich. Good game. We said we said New Year, New New, new Year, New You, Rich. Yeah. New Year, New You. That's the slogan I yeah, always give people say. You mean. I really have to study when I'm told there's going to be trivia. i got to be honest. Well, I look like I a mean, damn fool. You guys, you guys, you no, guys really pretty... dropped the ball on the Joe Namath. You actually really, like, <laughs> No, I, again, I wouldn't have thought of it just because I thought I was being fooled. No, that yeah, was the year I actually started uh, following football. It yeah. was 2000? Yeah, because like, it took I'm me two right. years you to learn those. English. You, no, you, sa you sounded really good on that. You like You sounded Sean? like a... That last one was not an easy question. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, you, 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 you dominated that. Sean Ellis. He was the original snacks. You impressed me. I love Sean Ellis. You showed me a little something there, Rich. You wiped the floor. That was... 1-0, oh, here we go, Bro, <laughs> Bridge, uh, on Brooklyn Verse, 1-0 oh, on the Undefeated. Brooklyn Verse Challenge. I do really well in video games, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the challenge could change all the time, guys. We're going to be changed, you know, we have new wrinkles every now and then, and there we go. <laughs> but, from us here, out to you guys here, thanks for watching. Keep the debate going on, on uh, keep the debate going on our platform, sorry about that, on Facebook and YouTube. Let us know what you guys think about everything. Well, have a good night, have a good night, and we'll see you next time.